All right, it is on. Hey, guess what up, Kyle Hunt? Hunt Fitness. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've done any video, but I'll tell you what, the last week, week and a half, have been nuts. We're no longer in New York. We're now in <laughs> Pennsylvania. We're in Pittsburgh. So we did move. This is our new house. I would show you around, but we're not even unpacked yet. So it's a little messy, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is this is meal one. Breakfast. It's also gonna be a pre-workout meal. We're gonna go hit up the gym. Possibly our new home, our new home gym. <laughs> uh, but I already checked it out earlier in the week, but Ashley has to come see. I, I think it, it, it's a unique gym. Uh, it's hard to find a gym that I that meets my standards, really. And, and not only that, not only meets the standards, but has a wide range of of equipment that I like to use. And most gyms, actually, pretty much all gyms, I've only really found one gym, <laughs> and that was my old gym in New York that has exactly what I'm looking for. And basically what that means is, one, the atmosphere has to be, you know, you know what, conducive to training hard. So, obviously you gotta have, be able to use chalk, gotta be able to drop weights. Two, you gotta have room. I hate, when I walk into a gym and there is no floor space or absolutely no open areas at all, I don't care how nice the gym is, I'm gonna hate it. I mean, that's just, if you don't have open space, like open floor space to roll around or to, I mean, Ideally, be able to push a prowler, pull a sled. Then I'm not. I'm not really gonna like it. Uh, so that's the second thing. I like to have bumpers too, to do Olympic lifting. So if a gym doesn't have bumpers, that kind of severely limits what you can do. Uh, what else did I say? Um, did you say something about machines? Too many machines. Well, I mean, yeah, it kind of goes back to floor space, but. If, when you walk into a gym, see a lot of times gyms when they have open floor space, they say, oh great, we can just put another machine there. So they try to fill up as much uh, open space in the gym as possible, trying to, to jam in as much uh, kind of useless machines. But mm -hmm. to the gym owner's uh, defense, a lot of time, a lot of members when they walk into a gym and they see a ton of open space, like this is I think one reason why my old gym maybe wasn't as popular as it could have been is it was a ton of open space and there wasn't that much equipment. I mean, there was plenty of everything you ever need, but to the, to the average gym goer, they'd probably walk in and say, oh, there ain't much here, you know? There's so much open space. <laughs> then you walk into a gym and it's crowded, and I would say there's not much there because there's three things I'd use in the whole damn gym, and that's a, one one of the squat racks. So that's, <laughs> oh, that's another thing. A gym has to have more than one squat rack or more than one area to bench, squat, and deadlift. Like, if you only have one area to do those things, I'm going to hate it because... If my workouts, when I come in, I'm going to be in that one spot for the whole time, pretty much. So, I mean, were you going to say something? Driving distance. Driving distance. That's another <laughs> thing. I, another <laughs> thing, like, from where I'm at in New York, where we moved from, I was, I was kind of spoiled to... So it's, just a, it's a spot where almost everything is 10, 15 minutes away. 15 minutes is, like, the farthest you'll ever have to drive for anything. So, 15 minutes is about my... My sweet spot. Go grab to, your baby. If I have to drive longer than 15 minutes to a gym, I'm probably not going to like it. And a lot of you guys will probably say, oh, well, that's, you know, that's kind of unrealistic. Just bring and her I, over here. I understand. But, again, when you're busy and you work from home and you don't really, you don't really have to travel much, you kind of get spoiled to the point where you don't want to. So, so anyway, we're going to go this gym today that we're going to go to kind of meets all the criteria. I mean, it's not, I don't think it's going to be exactly what I'm looking for, but uh, I also have a, a CrossFit gym. It's kind of like a garage style gym that I can train in as well. So I think this gym they're going to today, which we're going to film at, uh, if possible, and combined with the garage gym I'm going to train in, I think will be a pretty good combo. But anyway, this is what we got. Meal one. We got three whole eggs, a cup of oatmeal, with some uh, Splenda and cinnamon, one peanut butter pop tart, a little coffee, and the addition to this meal is uh, something that I'm trying for the first time. This is the company is called Scoop. They sent me some of their uh, it's whole food plant based protein. Yes, you heard me right, plant based protein vanilla flavor. Now the reason I'm kind of intrigued by this is uh, is because I haven't really ever found a protein powder. This is more like a meal replacement, actually. There's, uh, for a serving, two scoops, three grams of fat, 18 grams of carbs, six grams of fibers, some good fiber in there, and then 16 grams of protein. And the protein blend is pea protein isolate and brown rice protein. So, 
it's it's kind of unique because obviously it's yeah it's not a uh, a way. Uh, and the reason I'm kind of intrigued by it is because I got a lot of clients that, for whatever reason, don't tolerate whey protein very well. I mean, I'm not gonna say a lot of clients. Maybe it's it's five percent of clients, and. Uh, you know, I don't really want them to take a soy, and most of the plant-based proteins are garbage. So they're kind of left with, well, there's nothing, there's no really option for them. If they can't, if they can't tolerate whey, I mean, a lot of them, if they can't tolerate like a concentrate, they do better with a hydroslate or an isolate even, but there's some that can't even really do that. So I'm kind of looking for an alternative. So I'm going to try this and uh, see, see what I think about it. What do you think, Lucy? <laughs> Your camera's going to die soon. She's mad. She's mad. <laughs> Alright, let me try this then. Okay. You want to try this, Lucy? No, All that's right. not her formula. Alright, let's see. Take a bigger sip than that. That was a big sip. No, it wasn't. It tastes good. Really? Mm-hmm. No, I, I like it. I mean, it's a vanilla. Let me taste it. It's, it's slightly grainy. It smells like shit. Yeah, it doesn't smell the best. But I think the taste is fine. I like it. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's a little grainy, but... Tastes better than it smells. Yeah. Oh, but, I mean, shit, I'll drink it. Uh, I think yeah, it's but you'll a, also drink anything. Yeah, I'll drink anything. But, so I'm not really the best taste tester, but... No, I think it... For vanilla, I think it tastes pretty good. Uh, especially for a, a plant-based protein. Plus, you get a lot of fiber in there, too. Six grams of fiber per serving. Who doesn't need more fiber? Hmm. All right, so this is this is meal one. This is gonna be pretty hefty calorie rice. All right, so meal one, also the pre-workout meal, 30 grams of fat, 118 grams of carbohydrate, and 55 grams of protein. So we're doing it big. Big meal <laughs> one. All right, guys. I'll see you at the gym. All right, so what you're about to see is some deadlifts and front squats. Going into it, I wanted to actually do a do a complete training video and make it its own separate video, but uh, I don't. I don't think I really oh. got the camera all set up and charged because it only lasted about a half an hour into the workout. So all you're going to see is deadlifts and, and front squats. What I was working on was uh, I had a couple sets of three with 405. Nothing too crazy. Kept it pretty light. I, to, to be honest with you, my my lower back was was still a little sore from moving. This was like I think two or three days after we we uh, officially moved, so my lower back was beaten. Plus my lower back, I've been really careful with it the last few months because, like, as you guys know, it's it has given me a lot of problems over the last year or so, but it is getting better, so I'm feeling like I'm I'm going to be uh, seeing some big deadlift numbers in the coming months. So I hit some deadlifts at 405 for 3, really just trying to keep the reps nice, smooth, and quick, really fast reps, um, so that's something you'll notice. Then with the, the front squats, hit them. Worked up to 315 for an easy three. My front squat's been feeling good. Working towards a 405 front squat. Hoping maybe by the end of the year to hit a, hit a 405 front squat. And this is the new gym that I'm going to be going to. It's Galaxy Fitness in Irwin, PA. It's about 15 minutes from where uh, where we live now. It's pretty sick. I mean, it, it has a lot of turf. has bumper plates. has, uh, you know, plenty of benches. Plenty of, plenty of open space. Exactly what I was talking about earlier in the video. And, and what I like. And uh, plus, I'm going to be training in a garage CrossFit gym too. So combining those two things should be should be perfect for me. And uh, yeah, so that's the training video. Hopefully, I'm back on my YouTube uh, back on my YouTube game because, I've, like I said, everything's been really busy lately. But uh, I really want to put out some some good content. So uh, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see from me, and uh, hopefully, I can can deliver. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.